by Chitty Reed, travel writer. Did you know that for every long haul flight you do, you could be seeing multiple destinations, at no extra cost? We've run the numbers and found that adding one layover can save up to 50% on the direct fare. With some travel hacking you can turn the layover into a stopover and use these savings to explore an additional destination. In this guide from Skysca Australia, I'll cover the best minor saving layover routes, and how much you'll save, how to turn these savings into a multi-day stopover in just a few easy steps, as well as my favorite stopover routes and experiences. But first things first. A layover is the waiting time between connecting flights, ranging 30 minutes to 24 hours. A stopover refers to a stay that lasts longer than 24 hours, giving you more time to visit somewhere new. Spending a few extra days in a stopover city not only gives you a break from flying, but it also lets you experience a new place at no extra cost. I have hiked around geothermal pools in New Zealand, surfed waves on the Gold Coast of Australia, and sampled new foods in China, all because I have taken advantage of flight stopovers. Sydney, Sid, to Seoul, ICN, via Kuala Lumpur, KUL equals 54% average saving Sydney, SID, to Tokyo, NRT, via Cairns, CNS, equals 52% average saving Sydney, SID, to Bangkok, BKK, via Singapore, SIN, equals 49% average saving Sydney, SID, to Hong Kong, HKG, via Kuala Lumpur, KUL, equals 46% average saving Sydney, SID, to London, LHR, via Delhi, Del, equals 64% average saving. Melbourne, Mel, to Hong Kong, HKG, via Kuala Lumpur, KUL, equals 46% average saving Melbourne, Mel, to Los Angeles, Lax, via Guangzhou, Can, equals 34% average saving Melbourne, Mel, to London, LHR, via Beijing, Peck, equals 61% average saving Melbourne, Mel, to Manila, MNL, via Singapore, SIN, equals 50% average saving Melbourne, Mel, to Colombo, CMB, via Kuala Lumpur, KUL, equals 40% average saving.